Hey everyone, I'm Carlos Luna. This video is part of the presentation for the final assignment for the Artos class at UCSC Extension. For this project, the objective is to implement a smart bulb application in free Artos. It will have a light sensor that will control the LED on or off, and it will also have a push button that will um, override the function of the photo sensor. For the bonus part, it was included also the uh, motion sensor to control um, in parallel the the action of the LED with the um, photo sensor. Um, this is how the project works. This is my Artos implementation. Um, right now, this is my circuit. Let me move this away. This is my circuit. We have the um, LPC. 1768 card in the implementation we have the photo sensor and sending this data into the card we have also the push button and we have the motion sensor connected to the circuit mm, right now it's working as a smart bulb mm, we are trying to turn on this LED here what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover so that it will have a darkness and I'm going also to do a motion sensor so that it will detect the movement. If I make some shadow in the circuit it will show in the command that it will that it is sending the command on and if I remove my hand it will also send the text. Now if I press the button, it will turn on the LED and in the command it's just processing that event. It's waiting, it's uh, holding that um, resource until I press the button again and then releases the resource so that uh, it's available for the LDR to control the LED so this is the functioning again and then regardless of um, shade in the sensor it will not change the status the resource is locked until I press the button again, so and then it will return to the smart bulb mode. Here we have full control now of the of the LED via the um, motion sensor or the LDR. But again, if I press the button you will have full control and will just be locked in that stage until I press the button again and then I have access again to the LED in terms of the code um, we're using uh, interruption for the button and then uh, we check uh, in the main function to run the semaphore it's a um, binary semaphore where we are implementing we also have the ABC conversion this is the LDR main task which we are running in the uh, B task 1 we, are, we have uh, here two variables one is uh, Y which is reading the motion sensor and the second one is X, which is reading the uh, analog value from the LDR. Um, in this uh, task, we are comparing the values if the light is in a low value or if the occupancy is on a high value, it will turn the LED on. Or if none of these ones is uh, happening, it will turn the LED off. Um, here we have the initialization of the LED to select the, the pins that we need. We have the um, routine for the LED off, LED off, the LED on, 
the main routine for reading the motion sensor and this is our main, our task number one so we have the uh, well the definition of the set of the binary semaphore and the LDR main task which has all the um, variable comparison and all the variable readings this uh, concludes this part of the assignment thank you very much